GPU prices have been falling faster than we can keep track of them. Today, I'm going to tell you which ones to avoid, all the way from the 3090 Ti down to the 6500 XT. We're going to cover them all, and let's start with these two, in fact. The 3090 Ti, very, very expensive. If all you're going to be doing is gaming, I think you should probably be looking at an RTX 3080. And yes, I can say that without really laughing, because they are in stock and at somewhat reasonable prices. Yesterday, we covered the EVGA for the Win 3 12 gigabyte model. This one can now be found for about $999. Now, it is more than the original $699 of the 10 gigabyte 3080 Founders Edition, but what are we going to do? It's what we're left with. If you need a GPU right now, not everybody does. Some people may want to wait for RTX 4000. That GPU certainly is better than the 3090 Ti. Now, does the 3090 Ti actually have a good use case for being bought? Of course it does. In fact, I prefer it over the 3090. The 3090 was priced pretty much around this price with all the inflated pricing, and most of them have not gone down too much. The only exception may be EVGA's uh, for the Win 3 3090, $1699, which is still a little bit more than the 14 1499-3090. But I'm going to say that the only 3090 you should buy is that 1499 Founders Edition, which is going to sporadically be found at Best Buy, even though I haven't really seen it during the last month or two. So you're pretty much out of luck. If you were in the market for a 3090, let's say you're a hybrid content creator and gamer, maybe you need those 24 gigabytes of VRAM for content creation or 3D workflow. As for gaming, that's completely overkill. Then I think it's better for you to look at one of the 3090 Ti's at 1,999. Even though it's extremely expensive, it's still gonna be a better option than the 3090. I think it's just overall a better upgraded version of the original 30. Because the VRAM is going to be just on one side. Typically, people have reported much cooler temperatures than the original 3090. So that's the typical use case. But for gaming, I would certainly avoid it. Now, the 3080 Ti certainly presents a decent proposition with the prices going down. I still think if you're a gamer, the 3080 is where you want to be at around a thousand dollars. Priced pretty good is a Windows CD key. Today's video sponsor is going to be VIP CDK. Deals.com. Very simple process. You can get a Windows 10 Pro CD key and remember to use code CC20 for a nice discount. If we swing back the other way to the 6500 XT, that GPU is supposed to have an MSRP of $199. And in case you see it for that or cheaper, I still would avoid it like the plague. It's a pretty terrible GPU. It's only good for very basic 1080p gaming. In fact, now with prices going down, even the RTX 3050, I've seen them in stock with prices in the 300 getting close to the 200 dollars range you're going to be much better off with literally anything else either from amd or nvidia if you actually find a 6600 that certainly will be considerably better especially the 6600 xt over something like the 6500 xt now i understand people's budget may be around that 200 dollars mark but unfortunately even though prices are down where the budget gpus really start to get pretty good unfortunately still is hovering in the 200 to that $300 range, anything lower, and you're going to have to deal with all of the limitations of a 6500 XT. It's probably better to catch maybe an older GPU on the used market, or watch out for the 3050 getting cheaper and the RX 6600 from AMD, like we mentioned. Now, let's swing back towards the middle. We covered the high end, the low end. Now, the RTX 3070 is what we would call a sweet spot GPU, but is it? I think a lot of things have changed since it was originally released. When it first came out at $499, of course, people didn't get it at that price because prices soon became very inflated, especially for the Founders Edition and the non-light hash rate models. This GPU certainly excited people for 2080 Ti level performance, which at the time was a $1,200 GPU for basically what was $499. Now, things really quickly changed. Eventually, this GPU became LHR. The non-LHR, the non-light hash rate models, quickly became way too expensive on eBay and Facebook Marketplace just because of its hash rate and its attractiveness to crypto miners. So that quickly became something that was definitely not a very sweet spot GPU. So where is it now? 
I think because of all of the pricing issues, it's sort of lost that sweet spot sort of GPU moniker. I'm going to tell you why. A lot of them, the 3070s, are still really in the high 600s, in the 700 something dollar range, which, although it's cheaper than it used to be before, the 3070 Ti has gone down a considerable amount as well, and in my opinion, I think that's going to be just a better GPU. If you're going to be spending about the same amount of money, you better get a 3070 Ti. Now, Technically, the 3070, of course, should be cheaper pretty much in every case, aside from when maybe a base model overlaps a very high-end model, then you get a very close price overlap. But I've really not seen any 3070s anywhere in the $500 range, and even very few in the $600 range. A lot are still close to $700, and that's about the price of a good 3070 Ti. Look at the Asus Tough, was being sold from $699 to $729, even the EVG the XC3 is around the low $700 range, and that's definitely going to be a pretty good quality 3070 Ti. So it looks like probably don't buy a 3070, get a 3070 Ti. Just because the pricing is so close, a um, little bit more performance, and it's not a huge amount, but you do get more performance with a 3070 Ti, it's just going to be way more worth it in this type of pricing structure that we're having now. If you can find a 3060 Ti, and that is in maybe in the 500 something dollar range, I would almost get that over a 3070, just because it's going to be almost as good as a 3070, but you may get more of a discount. I'm just not seeing the pricing on the 3070 working right now. That's why I'm going to say probably a GPU that you should avoid, which is funny because it was one of the best GPUs for price to performance when it originally came out. That shows you how popular it was. It really destroyed sort of that value proposition because the pricing really went all over the place. And then of course there are a smattering of AMD GPUs that in their own right in many cases are good, but many of them you should probably avoid due to the price. 6700 XT really has to get closer to its original MSRP. It really has to jump down closer to $500 before selling at around $900. Nobody wanted to buy it. Even now at six or $700, it's still way too expensive. We really need that to come down in price. Likewise with the 6800 and with the 6800 XT. Remember, AMD should be releasing their refresh of their GPU lineup fairly soon, so we may start to see these prices that it actually makes sense to buy these GPUs, but I would not buy a 6800 XT or a 6900 XT. I would like likely not buy a 6900 XT or a 6800 XT unless they were pretty much at their original MSRP or lower. Now, the original MSRP for 6800 XT at 650, that is certainly a very attractive price for that GPU, but 6900 XT has been available pretty much around $1,000 now, $1,050, very close to its MSRP. People still aren't buying it. In that case, I really don't think it's worth it at all. And if you could find a 6800 XT, that would be a better buy, but unfortunately, those are pretty much almost the same price as the 6900 XT. So if you're looking for an AMD GPU, I would really tell you to wait even more than on the Nvidia side because you're certainly going to get a lot better performance when it's refreshed and the pricing of the older generation will go down a considerable amount, I think. It doesn't have the same sort of you know market dominance as Nvidia typically does, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. So there you have it. The GPU landscape changes pretty much day to day. These are some of my opinions for now, which ones to avoid if you have to buy a GPU. Of course, some will just want to wait for whatever is new, but this is what's available in the market. So remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.